WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 70, Nasdaq off 21, S&P's off 10. Bottom line, yeah, you, you come down a bit, you really still have a sideways day out here, folks. Market's struggling with the October 10th downdraft. It made it through the October 11th downdraft, having a tough time here. Uh, when we come back to work tomorrow morning, uh, it's going to be the 10th trading day. We're at the same level. Gold contract, gold contract down six dollars and seventy cents, trading at thirteen fourteen an ounce. You had silver down eleven cents, fifteen dollars fifty five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up twenty seven cents, fifty seven dollars twenty cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the ten year note down seven ticks, one twenty one twenty two. Thirty year bond up fifth fourteen at one forty five oh five. King dollar, king dollar up sixty two ticks, trading ninety six. 100. Now, what King Dollar did do, King Dollar made it to a lower low. You did have an expansion of volume, finished in the plus. But what you have out here, technically, folks, is that you got 21,000 contracts. Uh, you got below that low. That's saying that good old King Dollar will be down into this level once again. What's going to get intriguing out here, of course, is that coming into a Friday with the currency market as well as the metals market is, is always um, pretty exciting. Uh, in this particular case, we'll see where this uh, shakes out, meaning where the good old U.S. dollar wants to go, the euro, uh, with the euro has been basically just keeping its head higher. Uh, on, on Wednesday, it got above the consolidation that it's been in for quite some time. Today, it gave that back. The pound is still out here at 132.62, and it looks like the uh, it looks like both of those currencies actually want higher price, folks. And it would totally make sense because we're getting closer to uh, at least some type of either an extension or they're basically going to get the deal done. It's, what the market is saying, what the currency market is saying, and the pound particularly, is that it's not going to be a hard Brexit. Okay, so uh, we'll see where that shakes out. Once they get the deal done, folks, whether, whether it's an extension for a year, year and a half, or they get the deal done, you're going to see those currencies move higher, move higher very quickly. Because in the aspect of how we've been coming down, it's been all about are they going to have it together? How are they going to do the cross-border deals? How are they going to trade? Cross-border deals are crucial, folks. Stay right there, folks. Come back with some numbers after the close. Dow closed down 69, NASDAQ off 21, S&P's off 8.5. Come right back.